All right, what's going on guys? So today is the day we are gonna cut the back half of the frame out of this Dakota. Um, if you watched our channel update video, I did a little walk around on it to show you some of the rust and everything that we're contending with. Uh, it's a common problem on these frames that they rust out where they're put together. Uh, the good part for us is basically the frame rails going out to the front are still in good condition. I've already repaired all the mounts and stuff for the front suspension up there. Uh, I did that in a previous video. I'll link it up above. And today the plan is to cut this back half out where it's joined at the seam from the factory. And then I'm gonna weld in a whole new back section. Now, I'm going to emphasize this. This is how I'm fixing my truck. This is me and my truck. Um, I'm not saying this is how it's supposed to be done. I'm not saying this is how to fix it. I'm not saying that you should do this. I'm saying that I'm taking you on the journey of me fixing my truck the way I want to fix my truck. Um, and I just want to get that out of the way up front because I know there's going to be people that say this is not the right way to do it or that you can't do it this way or whatever the case may be. And, and that's perfectly fine. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion and I respect that 100%. But I just want to emphasize the fact that I'm doing this to my truck, my way, in my shop for me personally. This is not for a customer. This is not to sell. This is for me to have, to drive, to take off road and stuff as far as that goes. So stay with me, we're gonna get into it and uh, we'll get this thing cut off. All right guys, so basically what I just done is I cut the back section off. Um, it's gonna make it a little bit easier for me to work up here in this front section where these factory seams are. Uh, just not as much weight bearing down on it. Make it a little bit easier on me making these cuts. Um, I've got this thing supported under the front with two jack stands, it's sitting on the lift. And what I'm gonna do now is set up my laser and get my exact trajectory lines so I know when I put my next section of frame in that I've got it on the correct angle. Let me say this, I set that laser up yesterday um, and I set it right on the edge of this line where these two pieces are seen together. And then I wanted my line to be right across the top edge of my frame. And it is actually doing that. I mean, it's reflecting on the metal scale and stuff that's sticking up here, but it is dead on that line. So if I look straight across, it's actually skimming across the top of this and it's just barely hitting over here on that far side. So I know right now I'm sitting pretty well level. My objective now is to get some measurements and compare them to the measurements that I got off of the frame that I used as a donor frame. Um, and I'm going to see if everything matches up. If all the points match, then I'm gonna go ahead and cut this chunk off and start working to get in here and get this thing separated from the front section of the frame. All right, so what we've done is measured from frame mounts to a specific position on the front frame, compared that to the measurements that I got off of the donor frame, which was still in really good shape. Um, basically from about here back, I'm not able to do any measuring uh, because I don't really trust any of this where the spring hangers are. Uh, there's places on the inside you can see where somebody's tried to do a patch job uh, and patch those up and I just don't trust it. So I'm basing all my measurements off of this front mount and the point that I use on the frame. I'm also using this bolt in the cross member and measuring diagonally across to the two frame holes that are mounted side by side there, uh, right behind the front cab mounts and getting an exact measurement for that. Now mine came out to 66 inches, right from the edge to the center of the bolt. So that kind of tells me if I'm square or not. 
Uh, that's how I'm going to determine that. Again, I'm using the laser. I've got it raised up just a little bit right now off the stands. Uh, get my measurements and stuff in. I've got all those. I've got them written down here. And now I'm ready to go ahead and cut this front section off and start manipulating and working to get that frame channel out of that front section. All right, let's get to it. So I cut that in half just to make it more manageable. Now what I'm gonna do over here is I'm not gonna try to cut this out with all this attached to it. My goal is to cut it loose, basically right back here at the back of the frame. And then I'll start working with a grinder and stuff to work that out. Side cut three quarters of the way through. Come over and cut the other side. There's that, guys. If you don't have one of these little plasma cutters, I highly recommend it. Now, I'm fortunate enough that I've got a 220 plug out here in the shop that I can use. This thing will work off the 110. Um, it's called a Cut 50. I don't remember who it's made by. I'll put a link down in the description. Um, but this thing has been a game changer out here doing metal work and stuff in the shop, especially on projects like this. Uh, and it wasn't that expensive off of Amazon. There it is guys, back half of frame's cut off. Um, now, I just have a lot of work to do as far as trying to grind in here to remove these welds um, on both sides so I can get those pieces out. I need to slide those out and I need to preserve as much of that front frame rail as I can. So I don't wanna be with a plasma cutter in there just cutting stuff out. Um, I'll take my time and try to cut those out I'm not going to bore you with that video. I mean, I think you understand the concept, but once I get that done, we'll get back into the video and start fitting everything back up again. Got the exhaust fan running in the background, so that may be a little bit annoying, but we've got both sides ground out, come back to the frame, clean up the edges. Now I'm going to get ready to start test fitting the rear frame section in here. At this point, I've got the donor frame up in here and set in place. Um, I didn't video me putting it in because I didn't want you to see me struggle that bad. Uh, this back section is pretty freaking heavy. I ain't gonna lie to you. Um, so right now what I've got is a ratchet strap over there because I can't push it all the way in. So I'm hooking a ratchet strap on that side and I'm gonna put one on this side between the two body mounts. And I'm gonna use that to pull my frame together and line everything up. And that'll allow me to wedge it in between those pieces that are there that I cut out. So that's gonna wedge the donor frame right in with the original frame. Um, basically just like Chrysler built it. And from that point, I'm gonna start doing all my measurements. I'll get my level, set my laser back up, get that stuff set exactly like it needs to be. And once I get it level, squared, and everything set in place by the measurements, I'll tack weld it in place in a couple of places and then back up, remeasure again, and then put the rest of put it together the rest of the way. Got the frame in, two ratchet straps pulled up tight, got it clamped in place, started at the front of the frame, check it for the level, set and level there, I check it here at the connection point, level here, check it back here on level, check it back there, and I'm level now. I had to jack this corner up just a little bit. Um, actually bring it off this stand just a little. I guess the stands are a little bit off. But right now, everything is level. The only thing I got left to do is turn the laser on and figure out my height. Um, once I figure out my height, I'll go back and re-level everything just to be sure. Um, but at that point, I'll be ready to start welding it in. All right, guys, so I'm gonna show you this real quick. If you look right there, you can see the green line 
how it's spilling just across the top of the frame. Now it's a thin line. I mean, it's not super thick, but it's just coming right across the top of the frame. Now, the key thing is, is I come over here and you look right here and you can see it right there on the very fine edge of the board where it's skimming right across the top of the frame. That tells me I'm dead level, exactly like I need to be. And then over there on that side, over there, it's right on the top edge, right in line. Uh, matter of fact, if you look real close behind the welding lead there, you can see the green laser line on the edge of the metal. So that's got us dead level. Um, I'm gonna recheck my measurements front to back, recheck my cross measurements, and then I'm gonna start welding in. Go. So we got that side tacked in, now I just need to tack that side in, and we'll weld her in solid. All right, well, here it is. It is welded on there. It ain't pretty, but I welded it and it held it. So that's all I can say. Um, right now, frame's up in here. So you can see it's welded inside of it all the way around. And that's gonna be for both sides. So that is welded in, the frame is intact, everything's lined up. I'm happy with it. Um, I'll shoot a little primer on it so it don't rust. Again, guys, this is my way of fixing it. I don't recommend you do this. I can't recommend you do this. If you decide to do this, it's of your own free will. Uh, but this is it. We've got it together. Now ready to roll rear end back in here, stick it up underneath it, um, and start building the truck back. That, this has been the hold up for all this time is this rear frame section. But guys, listen, I appreciate y'all tuning in. Stick with us. We're going to be coming to you with more videos, especially on the Dakota and other things around the farmstead here. I uh, appreciate y'all tuning in. Give us a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Tick that bell so you get notified and drop comments or questions down below. Thanks, guys.